Today I will bring you an extraordinary message, a message that the Virgin Mary personally revealed to me, Pope Francis. In a time of great uncertainty and darkness, I had an experience that deeply touched my soul. One evening, as I prayed in the silence of my room, a bright light filled the room. The Virgin Mary appeared before me, dressed in a snow-white robe, with a beautiful veil surrounding her face and a shining crown on her head. Below her, I saw a globe shrouded in black, dense smoke. A symbol of the challenges and tribulations our world is facing. The Holy Mother spoke to me in a sweet but determined voice, warning me that darker days await humanity. Darkness is approaching Earth every day, threatening to engulf it completely. She reminded me of the importance of prayer and the vital role of priests in guiding souls to her Son, Jesus Christ. At that moment of revelation, I felt an enormous weight on my heart. The Virgin Mary urged me to pray fervently for the Church and its clergy. Recognizing the crucial role we have in keeping faith and hope alive among the faithful. I felt the urgency to share this message with you, dear brothers and sisters, to make you understand the gravity of the situation and the importance of our unity in prayer. The Virgin Mary showed me visions of an imminent tribulation, where people's faith will be tested, and the forces of evil will try to prevail. However, amidst this darkness, she conveyed a message of hope. Christ, present in the sacrament of the altar, is our strength and refuge. We will find grace and resilience in the Eucharist. Many have strayed from the narrow and straight path, distancing themselves from the Church's teachings and Christ's love. But the Virgin Mary offers her maternal embrace, inviting everyone to return to her loving arms and use the sacraments to seek forgiveness and reconciliation. Her presence in St. Peter's Basilica, shrouded in troubling black smoke, is a powerful reminder of the spiritual battles we are facing. Despite the darkness, the Virgin Mary has promised to wrap the Church in her protective mantle, guiding and protecting it from those who wish to harm it. This gives me comfort and hope, knowing we are not alone in our spiritual battles. As Peter's successor, I am aware of the significant responsibility that comes with leading the Church and tending Christ's flock. I invite all of you to join me in prayer and sacrifice, urging you to seek the intercession of the saints and angels in heaven. Let us lead a life of incessant prayer and humbly bow in supplication. The Virgin Mary emphasized the effectiveness of the Rosary as a weapon against demonic forces. I encourage you to practice this devotion, reflecting on the mysteries surrounding the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. The Rosary will transform our souls, strengthen our faith, and spread the light of Christ in the world. My message is not one of resignation. I encourage you to actively participate in the Church's mission and serve as witnesses of the Gospel in a society that has become weary and insensitive to God's love. In a world desperately in need of Christ's light, I challenge you to live holy and selfless lives, becoming beacons of hope. We must be aware of future difficulties and barriers. Ideologies of relativism, secularism, and atheism will undermine the Church's teachings and lead people astray. However, the Virgin Mary is always by our side, praying before God's throne for us. I conclude this speech with the words of the Blessed Virgin, My children, I beg you, do not turn away from him, pay attention to me. This is an invitation to cling to Christ and his Church in the face of potential difficulties. Our true hope and salvation are found only in Christ. Now, let us pray together. Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Father, I entrust my soul to your care. Protect the life of Christ in my soul, do not let me lose that life because of sin. Protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may please Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Virgin also emphasized the importance of confession. This sacrament is a fundamental way to obtain forgiveness and reconciliation with God. Too often we forget the healing power of confession. It frees us from our sins, brings us closer to God, and allows us to receive His grace in abundance. The Virgin showed me how many souls are tormented by their sins, bearing an unbearable burden. Therefore, I urge you not to fear confession. Approach with a humble and sincere heart, 
and you will experience the peace that only God can give. Moreover, the Virgin Mary asked me to promote a time of penance. This is not just a period of deprivation but an opportunity to reflect on our lives and recognize where we have strayed from Christ's path. Penance helps us purify our spirit, strengthen our faith, and better prepare to receive God's blessings. We must see penance not as a punishment but as a means to draw closer to God and live more holy lives. I would like to share with you a personal detail of my encounter with the Virgin Mary. While I was in St. Peter's Basilica, in a moment of silent contemplation, an intense light enveloped the entire altar. In that light, I saw the figure of the Virgin Mary, her expression one of deep concern but also immense sweetness. She spoke to me with words that will forever resonate in my heart. She said, Francis, my church is under attack. You must be strong and lead your flock with love and firmness. Pray, pray incessantly. The Virgin calls us all to holiness. It is not an easy task, but it is what God desires for each of us. Holiness is not reserved for a few chosen ones, but it is an open invitation to all. It is about living our daily lives with love, humility, and dedication to God. Be witnesses of faith in your work, your families, and your communities. Holiness is built through small acts of goodness, prayer, and sacrifice. In my encounter with the Virgin Mary, I understood even more the power of faith. Faith is what sustains us in difficult moments, gives us strength in times of weakness, and guides us when we are lost. Faith is not just a belief but an act of total trust in God. We must cultivate our faith through prayer, reading the scriptures, and participating in the sacraments. Remember, faith can move mountains. I also invite you to reflection. In a world that runs ever faster, we must find time to reflect on our life and our relationship with God. Reflection allows us to recognize God's blessings in our lives and identify areas where we need to improve. Take time each day to meditate on God's Word, to listen to His voice in the silence of your heart. The Virgin also spoke to me about the importance of fraternity. We live in a world divided by conflicts, injustices, and hatred. Fraternity is the key to building a better world. We are all children of God, and we must treat each other with respect, love, and compassion. Fraternity does not mean only tolerance but a true commitment to care for others, especially the most needy. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the bell next to it to receive notifications when new videos are published. Forgiveness is another central theme of the Virgin Mary's message. We often carry grudges and resentments that poison our souls. Forgiveness is liberating, it allows us to heal and reconcile with others and with God. It is not always easy to forgive, but with God's grace, we can find the strength to do so. Remember Jesus' words on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. By following his example, we can build a more just and peaceful world. Despite the challenges and tribulations, the Virgin Mary's message is full of hope. Hope in Christ is what sustains us in difficult times. Christ is the light that illuminates the darkness, our guide and comfort. Even in the darkest moments, we must keep hope alive, knowing that God is always with us and never abandons us. God's love is the foundation of the Virgin Mary's entire message. God loves us with infinite and unconditional love. This love calls us to respond with love, to God and to others. Love is the most powerful force in the universe, capable of transforming hearts and worlds. We must live our love for God through prayer, service, and dedication to others. My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to take this message of the Virgin Mary to heart. Let us pray together for the Church, for the world, and for each of us. Let us ask the Virgin Mary to guide and protect us, to intercede for us before God, and to help us live a life of faith, hope, and love. Now, let us pray together. Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Father. I entrust my soul to your care. Protect the life of Christ in my soul, do not let me lose that life because of sin. Protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may please Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.